So let's go ahead. So uh, it's about uh, the, the, remember the, the, all these lectures about uh, access control and uh, authentication. Uh, last time we saw uh, uh, the major password the cracking techniques. Okay, in particular rainbow tables. And uh, today we will uh, go on. So basically, we'll be, today we'll focus on authentication because so far we saw just one way of authentication, which is uh, the most common one: passwords. Okay, but it's not the only one. Okay, there are several other ways of authentication here. One note is about uh, you know what is authentication. So it's, it's known that is the triple A: authentication, authorization, and accounting. So authentication and uh, authentication authorization, you know what it is. Right? Authentication is, you know, supplying its uh, credentials, and authorization is what it finds that you have access to. No, okay. this is access control. It's a fact of login is to to get access to the yeah. to the system. Yes, you know. exactly. Then, what to access? Which resources you are uh, eligible to access? This is access control. Yes. And this is authorization. Now accounting. Accounting, uh, it's not accounting in the uh, management uh, definition. Accounting here is uh, measures to uh, keep track of who accessed what and when, etc. So, kind of logging, you can see. Uh, measures that uh, the resources a user consumes during each network session. So, it's about, uh, you know, how much bandwidth did he use, uh, which resources did he use, etc. So, yeah, just. Uh, for your information. Uh, now, authentication and credentials. We have um, types of authentication. Uh, we saw passwords, the most uh, common one. There is uh, also one time password, standard biometrics, behavior biometrics, and cognitive biometrics. Okay. Uh, so, you know, when we talk about authentication, uh, it's very common. Basically, we can authenticate by something three things. Okay. We can authenticate by, by three things. So, we can authenticate by something we know, or something you know, which is, for example, a password, something you know, okay? yeah. or something, you don't know this uh, three types, we can authenticate by something you know, or something you have, example, no, uh, no, the token, you know, there are some tokens that are used in, uh, in some organization. Tokens, or sometimes, you know, a badge or a card or something, okay? Something you have, so an object, okay? The third thing is something you can authenticate with something you know you have and something you are. So here we are talking about biometrics. So something you are, fingerprint, eyes, gun, face recognition, voice recognition, etc. So, uh, one time password, this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, something you have, this is something you know, these two, something you are, the third one, cognitive, is basically mixed between uh, something you know and something uh, you are, okay? So, um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, so password, we discussed it. Now, one time passwords, which is uh, using the, uh, the tokens, okay? So, using... Uh, the uh, a physical token. The most common type is time synchronized uh, one time password. Uh, so here we are talking about uh, uh, passwords that change all the time and you need to uh, uh, respond to a challenge. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's used in conjunction with the token. The token and the corresponding authentication server share the same algorithm. This is the point. So most of them, so this is an example of a token, most of them they they share the uh, same principle. So basically, you have a server, a server where where you need to log in, and basically you have uh, the user, so user here, and user have the token. Okay. Now they all share the same principle. Basically, you have an algorithm here, an algorithm to. Uh, to compute a certain password or a certain random value or a certain uh, challenge, okay? And then you have the same algorithm here, okay? They are uh, the same. Most of the time, uh, so yeah, this is an example. So basically you have a user here, he has the token. In the token you have an algorithm. So um, uh, 
the algorithm at some point of the time it will generate some random by using some computation okay and you will have it will give you the one time password uh, in, the, in the server basically in the server uh, it maintains a list of users with corresponding uh, corresponding algorithm because here every user will have a different algorithm otherwise they would generate, if they use the same algorithm they would generate the same uh, any uh, token or the same one time password okay so for every user you have a different algorithm and uh, it is also synchronized with time and basically the user when he uh, at some point he will supply some value which normally will be the same which will be computed at the other server side so there are several variations of OTP systems so sometimes you just need to look to your uh, token to get the value and type it right away to the uh, so that, that value will change uh, continuously okay regularly every minute every two minutes okay uh, but sometimes uh, it's a challenge based basically the server will give you a challenge uh, give you uh, give me the I don't know uh, so here uh, it displays a challenge a random number to the user so now the user will take that random number and will type it to the token and the token will will uh, yani respond with uh, the the OTP that you will type in. So yeah, this is an, an, a small value. Uh, so user then enters the challenge number into the token. Uh, yeah, so this is the idea. Basically, you need you need to have uh, the token that has the same algorithm as the uh, the server. Yeah, so, uh, is yes. the OTP uh, something similar to the captcha? something way uh, different because it seems to be that the server gives you the actual number by your machine captcha you know what's captured then it, 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 uh, what is being captured uh, no 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 captcha captcha this pen is to the to differentiate between a human and uh, so basically it's a computer that is a computer algorithm uh, that is able to tell uh, a computer from a human, you see. <laughs> so it's a long one. So uh, yeah, a computer uh, algorithm that is able to tell if a computer uh, computer to tell a computer from a human <laughs> algorithm. <laughs> so it's, it tells it, it, it differentiates between uh, uh, it, it capture is used to uh, stop automated uh, yeah, yeah, attempts. That not even attacks. It's uh, any kind of uh, you have sometimes automatic crawlers that will uh, fetch pages continuously, for example, will create accounts uh, like that. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's yeah, the purpose is different. The purpose is different. Okay. Uh, biometrics, and so here uh, something you want. So biometrics are, you know, uh, human characteristics like uh, fingerprints, like uh, eye uh, uh, scan, uses a person's unique characteristics of authentication. Example: fingerprint, faces, hands, irises, retinas, uh, types of fingerprint scan. We have static and dynamic. So static, uh, yeah, we come to yeah, here. Fingerprint, yeah, yeah, biometrics are very uh, efficient, but the problem is the cost. And uh, sometimes the readers you will use are not uh, foolproof, so they might have uh, any uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, not vulnerabilities, so deficiencies. Basically, that would not. Work obviously. Uh, yeah. So this is the dynamic. This is dynamic for fingerprint. So dynamic versus static biometrics. Basically, in dynamic, you need to do some kind of uh, movement or action. Okay. So for example, here you need to. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, swap, yeah, swap your uh, your finger. Uh, but uh, uh, and static basically you just need to place your uh, your finger without moving it. Okay. Um, then we have behavior biometrics. So behavior biometrics, it's. Um, uh, it's related to um, how you uh, the user behaves. Uh, uh, you understand with the example. So the example is keystroke dynamics. So here there are some authentication uh, ways, techniques which will use uh, or, or which will take into consideration how 
you type in uh, some uh, strings or all your password, let's say. Okay. So because when you type, every user has a different you know, timing to, to type. So here we are talking about two things, the dwell time and the flight time. Dwell time, when you press on one keystroke on your keyboard, how much time it, it will uh, stay pressed? Okay. It's, we're talking about uh, milliseconds or microseconds, but this will make a difference. Okay. So how much time you keep pressing on the keystroke, and then the flight time is how quick you move from uh, one uh, keystroke to another. Okay. So if uh, you type, I tell you, type your name or type a certain uh, string, for example, a book, type it. Okay. You will uh, have different dwell times or certain dwell times and uh, flight times, which will be different from other users. So basically here, uh, so yeah, dwell time is how much uh, time it takes uh, yeah, pressing the, the keystroke, and flight time is how uh, how it, how much it takes to uh, to move from one. Uh, uh, keystroke to another, and basically uh, you have a kind of pattern. Okay, uh, you have, and uh, for every user, of course, you know the, 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 this pattern is not exactly the same from uh, one time to another. It might differ a little bit. The same user, we are talking, okay, but it will stay in some range. Okay, so for example, if you take user one, user one might be the uh, uh, let's say user one is pattern is here. Okay, the user template. But user two, it will be very different. So maybe something like different. Okay. So it's it's about pattern. So we extract uh, the pattern of um, every user when he types in uh, some uh, yeah, characters. And this will. Uh, so this is the cognitive. Uh, this is cognitive biometrics. Uh, no, 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 not biometrics. This is behavior. Yeah. This is behavior biometrics. So we have uh, standard biometrics, which is fingerprint, eye scan, whatever. Okay. Then we have behavioral uh, biometrics. Okay. And uh, then we have the cognitive. Cognitive. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Here, uh, approved users. So the pattern is in the approved uh, part. And then the attacker. It will be uh, very different. Uh, now. Um, yeah, behavioral biometrics might be in the voice, okay? The voice uh, recognition, okay? So we have everyone has a phonetic cadence, how he uh, speaks, how he utters words, okay? Uh, also, computer footprint. This is not really related to uh, to uh, biometrics. Computer footprint is, you know, we have a certain user that. Uh, you know, logs in at certain time, logs out at certain other time. He will have some behavior when uh, he logs in. He needs to visit this website, that other website. He needs to check his email. So they have certain programs that he uses, etc. So this might have a signature for every uh, for every user. Even the place, huh? Even the place. The place. Yes. yes. Like yes. a few usual identifiers. Yeah. 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 And then when yeah. They... And this is why in certain web services. You have this, so you are trying to log in from uh, an abnormal, any, uh, unusual uh, any location. And, uh, yeah. okay. uh, now, cognitive uh, biometrics is about uh, you know uh, something uh, in our memory, basically. Uh, so uh, related to the perception, thought process, and understanding of the user. Uh, uh, considered it to be much easier for user to remember because it is based on the user life experiences. Yeah. So yeah, it's like uh, uh, when you um, uh, when you create your account, you set some uh, parameters which are related to your own personal life. Okay. Uh, like souvenirs, like uh, stuff from your your past, and it will be difficult for an attacker to uh, to recognize quickly. Okay. You, since it's part of your past, etc., you will you will uh, uh, you will tend to uh, to uh, respond to the challenge quickly. So related to the perception, thought process, understanding of the user, sometimes it's uh, previous life experiences. Okay, one example from experiments is based on life experience that the user remembers. Uh, another example from it was used on the five specific cases. Uh, it's uh, it is used. So you know here. Um, in, in the Gulf region in general, 
mobile phones are very common. This is why, in order to uh, have a bank account, you need to have a mobile phone, and then uh, you have uh, two-factor uh, authentication using the uh, one-time password. But in other countries, it's not the case. Even in US, you know, SMS is not used that common because not everybody has, a, you know, a mobile phone. It costs a lot there. Okay. Uh, so, uh, one of the things they use, I remember when I have a bank account there, I, the, we use this, Kubernetes Biometrics. So, uh, you, I, I had to choose one picture when I, uh, you know, create the account. And then that picture comes uh, back every time I need to log in. I need to recognize that picture from a set of. Uh, so, it's about, you know, uh, like, like these days, you, if you notice it on the web, we have uh, not capture, we have recapture. It tells you to answer a certain challenge. It tells you uh, uh, you have uh, nine pictures. Pick the, uh, the those pictures where you have a car, for example. Yeah. For example. yeah. So the recapture. Okay. So it's it's based on you know, human perception. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So example of uh, biometrics. So the last thing is uh, uh, authentication models. Authentication models. Uh, the, 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 the simplest one is one factor authentication if you have a password, if you have a token, so just one factor, okay? Uh, uh, using only one authentication. And then you have two factor authentication, you need to uh, you know, you provide two challenges, basically. Uh, what we do in, to log into bank accounts uh, is two, uh, two factor authentication. And there are three factor authentication, it requires that the user present three different types of authentication credentials. So, for example, uh, I don't know, you need the password, you need the one-time uh, uh, password, and then basically biometrics. So, yeah, three. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that's it for, uh, for access control authentication.